Hi, this is David C. Hoke, and welcome to Story Demon. If I was to give you one piece of advice, take your idea from an idea to a full-fledged story, I would say remember the rule of threes. It is critical in most uh, all art forms, uh, music, you have a, a, a verse, a chorus, and a bridge. Photography, you have you shoot your picture in thirds. Um, movies have a first, second, and third act. In jokes, you have the uh, the intro, the setup, and the payoff of a joke. So rule of threes is drives everything in creativity. Of course, there are always exceptions to the rule, but most people aren't going to be an exception to the rule. Most people need to stick to the rules to get the story done. Yes, there are special people that come along and rewrite the rule book, but that's not what we're talking about here. So the rule three is for your story. So you have an idea and you need to take it from the story. Well, you know you got to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. So what is your beginning? Where does this story start? Uh, and then where are you going to end up? What's the conclusion? Is there something the hero is going to get? Is the hero going to win? Is the hero going to die? Is there uh, something they have to overcome? We get all those kind of like uh, the, the different nuances of, of what drives the story, hero's journey, those kind of things. But right now, you need to like just say to yourself, where am I beginning and where am I ending? Okay, and once you know where you're going to be, 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 it may even start with the ending. Like, where do I want to end up? Is it he's the heavyweight champion of the world? Did they blow up the Death Star? Where is it ending? Then you know that you can kind of go backwards sometimes and say, okay, it's beginning here and in the middle of this happens. So in a first, second, and third structure act of a movie, you have a beginning, middle, and the end of each act. You know, the first act of a movie is usually pretty simple to understand. The first 10 minutes is a setup what's going on, who's your main character, what do they do, who's the villain, what do they want, uh, then sort of something sort of happens to sort of like start pushing the hero into a certain direction, and then you have at the end of the first act, something changes it and sets us on its course, okay? And then then you have a first half of a, of a second act, you have a, you have a, you have a, the second act has one, two, beginning, middle, and end, one, two, three, but each section has a one, two, and three. So how, I want make this make sense to you. And I've thought of a really good example. So a movie, and I'm talking in movie terms, but the same applies to most of these stories. Uh, I'm going to use a movie term for right now. And, and I'm going to talk about The Dark Knight, the 2008 uh, Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight. Famous movie. Most people have seen it. It's all beloved. Everybody loves it. So the, the most people's favorite scene, not everybody, but one of the big key crucial scenes in that movie is the interrogation scene in the police station with Heath Ledger and uh, Gary Oldman and, uh, of course, uh, Christian Bale as Batman. And the scene starts, okay, beginning. Scene starts in the, the, the room with the Joker and Commissioner Gordon. And he's interrogating the Joker. And then it goes to the Batman is brought in. And, you know, the light comes on. Batman's behind him, smashes his head. All right, that's the, the middle. They talk, 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 talk. And then the end will be the third section of that scene. You know, he pushes and pushes Batman to his limit. Batman grabs him, shoves him against the wall. Where is she? And keeps hitting him and all that stuff. That is your third part of that one scene. So that one scene, we start with Commissioner Gordon talking to the Joker. And then we introduce the Batman to this scene, and they have a conversation. And then Batman, you know, beating information out of the Joker. And that scene ends when the Batman takes off and leaves. Okay, so that scene has the beginning, middle, and end. One, two, three. Okay, you've got the idea that everything comes in threes, first, second, uh, and third acts, beginning, middle, end, etc. And then even within each scene, you need a beginning, middle, and end of each scene. So you understand that, but how does that help you formulate your story? Okay, so I did a script called, uh, the script was called Falls County, and we put out the, uh, the, the film as a killing. Uh, but the, the idea for that started because it uh, had uh, seen a little library in a little small Texas town and not far from where I live. And I thought, well, would it be interesting if uh, this guy uh, met this woman at that library researching something and they kind of they fell in love? And so I kept playing with that idea. So like, why would he be in the library? What is he doing? Why is he not married already? And I start answering these questions for myself. And so the, ended up, I wrote a uh, feature length script 
that uh, was basically by the time I got done building out his character and then any character that, that that created, then building out those characters. Well, he and his wife had had a uh, child that was murdered, and he got revenge and killed the, uh, the the killer that killed his kid. So there was this real event where this father had uh, avenged his son uh, right in front of police in an airport terminal, and he got off with like some sort of suspended sentence type deal. And uh, I thought, well, I'll, that'd be interesting to put here, and you know, kind of thematically, you know, what happens after you get your revenge. So he ended up creating a a, a, a hero, the dad, his wife, and then the killer. And the feature link script, script that was kind of the, the, the three stories was uh, the father and his journey through all this, the mother and her journey and her perspective. You know, the son, when he, I mean, I'm sorry, when the husband does go uh, to jail for a little bit, you know, during trials and things like that, she's kind of left alone. And, you know, immediately after her own, you know, child is gone, she's got to deal with all these issues alone. And so her story, and then the, the killer, you know, I did a whole uh, section on, on the killer and his motivations and his processes. So when you're at your typewriter and you're starting to write your novel or do an outlining or write your script or whatever, you should always have in mind three parts. If you watch a movie, or especially a lot of your B-movie type, type movies, you'll see when they fail, is a lot of times it comes down to the thirds uh, and an action scene. Uh, or an action sequence. You'll see an action sequence start and they'll have like one chase and then one fight and it kind of stops. You need a third one to sort of pay off. You know, French Connection, a car chase scene. Uh, it begins with uh, a sniper shooting or trying to shoot Gene Hackman. Then you have uh, him chasing him to the, the train. And then lastly, he catches up with him at the train station and stalks him and, and kills the bad guy. That's the French Connection car chase scene. Sniper, car chase, getting the bad guy at the train station. So rule of threes right there. When you're developing your, your, your main character, you know, what do they want? Or first off, who are they? What do they want and where are they going to end up? Bad guy, same thing. Who is Who are they? What do they want? How are they going to end up? You start working these threes with your characters. If you know the rule of threes for your story and your characters, then you have a story. So that's how you take a germinating idea and actually start putting a craft to it. So say I'm just making this up on the fly. Say you're at the hospital visiting uh, a relative in the hospital and you get an idea pops in your head. And it's just an idea of... Uh, of a, of a dark hallway and a nurse pushing a, a empty gurney down it and disappearing into an elevator. And you're like, wow, that was a really cool, interesting idea. What could I do with that? Well, then, then you start thinking to yourself, who is the nurse? Where is she going with that? And where did she come from? And then those will lead to new questions. And you answer the three so that, from that. So, so the, so who is the nurse? Well, she is a, works in the, uh, the, the, the morgue. And she went to go get a new gurney to take somebody from the hearse into the morgue. And uh, then it's like, okay, well, who is the body? Well, it's the uh, the body of a, a, a local priest who was uh, murdered. Uh, and uh, he was known to hang out with gangsters. You see how you keep building this third? So we went from a... An idea in a, in a hospital hallway to now we've got a priest that consorts with, with gangsters. So you keep doing that on your own with scratch paper or whatever, and you eventually start building out your story. Now, some people are pantsers. You hear in the novel writing community, they're a pantser, and that's fine. Um, but you still need to re remember the rule of threes or you won't be a good pantser. If you do introduce something as a pantser, you have to pay it up. You have to set it up and pay it off. You know, introduce, set up, pay off. Introduce, set up, pay off. You should always be chasing threes. Everything in threes. Who, why, how. Always be thinking of threes. Before you know it, you'll go from an idea to a fully thought out story. Thanks for watching. Remember to share, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And look in the body. You'll see a link to my Patreon that I'm getting off the ground uh, and all my social media and my website. And for the, new, the book I'm working on, working on a book called Marav. Hopefully I can get it ready in the next 
I would say between now and maybe six months or so, you might have something to look at, hopefully pretty soon. And uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you click subscribe and all the fucking stuff that people tell you to do.